Hello everyone, we're back with episode 5, the final episode, Polarized, and we're going to get started. Hope everybody's doing good, uh, and let's get going. I'm trying to finish this up so we can move on to whatever the next series may be, I haven't decided yet. But this has been a great series. I know this one has been one of my favorites and uh, over the years. So, hope everybody who watched has been enjoying it. What? Where? It's a dark room. Is anybody out there? Please help. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Great. I can see all my things, but I can't grab it. Wait, who was over there? Oh, Victoria. Victoria. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria, too. This is so bad. Move it towards me. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Uh. 
I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, well. I don't remember exactly how this all goes. As far as this episode. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Max, you fucked up my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Oh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm no, you down. No, no, no. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. 
always take the shot. That guy's a mental case, for sure. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Hmm. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. I need to see a photo there. This might work. Please work. Focus. Why? Why is he so innocent? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. 
I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, no, this one. This. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Definitely the strangest episode. <laughs> Got the lunatic. 
It's going back and forth in time. Just... Any one of you in a dark corner Crazy. can capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. <laughs> Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think everyday heroes is a I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Okay. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson... You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Mm. It doesn't matter. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. 
Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well, thanks for the photo, and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Kill him, Max. Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Excuse me, sir. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Please shut up. Your Hot Dog Man. Sir. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Pause that if you like. Let's see, 10 across, 6 letters, D. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? Okay, what do I do? Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. 
thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Hmm. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from... There I am. Along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. <laughs> yeah, I've never been a... How do these galleries afford to rent here? Big art fan, so... God, I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Hmm. That is different. 
different. Bad Loving exposure. The retro vibe. Me too. Framing. Makes me want to go buy Bad an instant picture. camera. I could have done Damn, this I so that much. Film Hi, I excuse me. You're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. So weird. <laughs> So weird. Um, let's just sit for a minute. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. And she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. But for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. All right, let's continue. Let's see what these people are saying. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, stuck. can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Well, back we go. Okay. Excuse me. I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Holy... Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Oh my god. Tell me what kind of instant <laughs> camera you um, use. Can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. Jeez. Oh, shit. 
shit. Oh, my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? It's all a mess. My, I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Okay. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer. My question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck, he burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. I 
promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did. Right, Max? Okay. Let's try this one last time. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait. Hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but... I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! Ah, damn it. Jefferson, it's over. You are not David, going to stop. Hit that me. table. Yes, sir. <laughs> David, uh. going to stop me. <laughs> Jefferson, it's Grab over. Your gun now. Got it. <laughs> son of a Christ. Bitch. David Madsen, you are one stupid son of a bitch. Over. You are not going to stop me. Ah, uh. Jefferson, it's over. <laughs> Sorry, Madsen. You should have stuck to harassing. It's over. You are not going to stop me. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, one right. <laughs> David Madsen. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. There we go. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Now, he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson? Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But 
You won't need this anymore. I had no idea he was this sick. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. All right, everybody, I'm going to stop right here. And, uh, but we'll be back soon. We're going to continue this and wrap this series up. Good God. In the next video it's or two. A studio. And, uh, hope everybody's doing good. Take care. And we will see you soon.